Hi, today I'm going to look at rounding to the nearest 10. So before you do this, think about what rounding to the nearest 10 actually means. What you're trying to do is write the number to the closest number in the 10 times table. So this will either be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so let's have a look at example 1 then. So we've got around 63 to the nearest 10. So to do this, just first of all look at the tens column. All right. So we have six tens. All right. So we've got two possible answers here. It'll either be closest to 60 or 70. Now, to decide which one it's closest to, you will need to look at the number in the units column. Right, if this number is below 5, you're going, going to round the number down, so it's closest to 60. If this number is 5 or bigger, you're going to round the number up, so it will be closer to 70. So in this case, we've got a 3, so we're going to round the number down to 60. So let's move on to example 2. This time we have 87, and we need to round this to the nearest 10. So again, look at how many tens you have. So the tens column is here. So we've got eight tens. So if we round the number down, it'll be 80. If we round it up, it'll be 90. So let's have a look at the number of the next column, which is a seven. That number is five or above. So we're going to round this number up to 90. So let's have a look at our third example. So this time we have to round 45 to the nearest 10. So again, if we look at our tens column, so we have four tens. So we've got two possible answers. It'll either be 40 if we round down, or 50 if we round up. Look at the number in the units column, which is a five. Since that number is five or above, we're going to round the number up to 50 because the number is exactly halfway. So let's move on to some of the harder examples now. So example four, this time we've got 236. So again we need to look at our tens column. So we can sort of forget about the hundreds to start off with. All right. So if we just look at the last two numbers, so we have three tens, so there's two possible answers here, it'll either be 30 if you round it down or 40 if we round up. So look at the number after the tens column which is 6, so since this is 5 or above we're going to round the number up to 40. And you need to remember to copy the hundreds before it, so it's 240 to the nearest 10. So let's move on to example 5. This time we have 1473. So again, this time we have units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So again, we don't need to look at the thousands and hundreds, we just need to look at the tens. So we have seven tens. So we've got two possible answers. It'll either be 70 if we round it down, 80 if we round it up. Look at the units column, which is a three. Since that is less than 5, we're going to round the number down. So this will round down to 70. And then we've just got to remember to copy the thousands and the hundreds before it. So we get the final answer, 1,470. So the final example then, this time we have 3,625. So again, if we label our columns... So again, just look at the last two columns. So we can cover the first two up. So in the tens column, we have two tens, so that's 20. So if we round the number down, it'll be 20. If we round it up, it'll be 30. Look at the units column, which is a five. Again, it's exactly halfway. So remember, if it's five or above, you round the number up. So it's going to be closest to 30. And then you've just got to remember to copy in the numbers before it. 
I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.